again, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to Cattle and Crops, a tech demo for this new farming sim-type game out now, folks. So if you want to pick it up, the link to the website is down below. Check this out. We can even go into third-person mode. Very nice uh, snazzy jacket here that we're wearing. We're going to be testing out this uh, class or class uh, tractor here today with the uh, wonderful little cultivator in that field. So if you guys are liking this, if you're loving this, if you love yourself some farming simulator games, make sure you hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you're new here. Welcome aboard, folks. And speaking of getting aboard, let's hop into our tractor now. So very nicely detailed here with this tractor. We're going to back up and pick up that implement in just a second. But again, very nicely detailed inside and out. We do have the ability to use user actions in these tractors. And I'm not sure exactly if it works at the moment. But I think what we can do is uh, maybe test out the windshield wipers and such. Oh, maybe not. Unless it's on. Let's see if that works. There we go. We're firing her up. But the nice thing is, is we can actually pull some of these options down. For example, we can open some of the doors. I'm not sure if it allows us to do that yet at the start of the tutorial. But what we can do is if we grab it here by the by the square, yep, seems like it lets us do that. All we got to do is pull it down here. We should be able to open uh, the doors, for example. So let's see if this little bugger will come on down here. There we go. And if we press 1, then it should open the door. Check that out. So we can get in and out of our tractor very easily. Adds to the realism. Looks really good. So very nice. And then you just close it by doing the same. Check that out. The steering wheel column comes back down. Everything's great here. Love it immensely so let's get started then folks if you think this is definitely the game for you again remember go ahead and subscribe and check down below in the description too if you want to uh, download this one you can get it from their website so we're going to just do a little uh, quick drive in here to pick up this implement and uh, we're going to pick up the uh, cultivator here and see what we can do here to cultivate the field in front of us i don't know how close we have to be so this should be it there we go all right it's same like in farming simulator you just press q once you're loaded up and ready to rock so, and it's very nice because uh, with the user actions up in the upper right corner, you can basically customize at any time your tractor to do whatever you'd like. So, for example, if you want uh, your harvester to have a different setup for some of its buttons, you can set it up all completely different on each one of your, uh, oh boy, big old bumps, on each one of your, uh, for example, your steering wheel. You can change all the buttons between each tractor rather than resetting it each time. All right, we're going to go ahead and cultivate this field here. Should be uh, pretty good to get started, pretty easy. We're just going to move into the field now and start our cultivating. So we're just going to drive into the field now. We're going to extend the cultivator, and uh, then we're going to go ahead and drop her down. Should be pretty easy, straightforward stuff. And drop. Perfect. All right, so all we got to do is cultivate here now. I guess we got to go a little bit to our right, and then we'll just keep her within the lane. So for the tutorial, it just wants you to experience a little bit. And uh, by the way, this is very, very muddy, this game. Uh, as you can see right now, we're kind of bouncing around just a little bit. But we can turn on a hardcore mud mode as well, which makes things a lot more difficult. You can get your tractor stuck, and there are certain fields that you do not want to cultivate. You do not want to sow until certain times of the season. I believe the game also offers different types of seasons, 24 hours, um, all sorts of different features. Very beautiful. I like it immensely. So check, check that out, folks, inside and out of the tractor looks and runs very smoothly all right so now all we got to do is uh, raise the cultivator and execute a 180 degree turn uh, so basically all we got to do is yep there you go drive to the first track oh, I guess we got to back it up now turn your tractor 180 degrees to the right there we go so all we have to do is get that one and drive this way so obviously it's gonna make us do things a little bit different uh, than you would if you were normally cultivating but it's just trying to get us to experience going in and outside of fields and check that out guys I can't wait until some of these um, fields actually look dirty. I can't wait to actually, like for example right here, check the mud tracks and such as we come into this one farm field. Look at, Just look at that. Again, we're just testing a little bit and showing you off how everything's going to work. So we're not really intending to do any realistic farming here today aside from just showing off how realistic the game looks. Look at that. We can actually get stuck with heavy implements in the fields too, so you might need a friend to play with to drag you out on occasion. All right, let's get up to the second position, and we'll go ahead and cultivate. I'm definitely not the best cultivator in the world, but it makes it a lot more fun than usual cultivating with these types of imp implements, especially when you're uh, bouncing all around the road. So let's go ahead and speed her up a little bit. We should be able to cultivate it at this speed. There we go. Nice little cattle and crops GPS there, nicely detailed inside and out. The folks, by the way, showed up for our live stream where we stream this as well. And it was very nice of them to drop by, so I'm really happy that those, uh, they're, they're very kind folks, so I'm really excited to see what this game has to offer in the future. All right, let's pick up our implement. We'll swing back around. Very nice to drive with the uh, steering wheel and pedals, by the way. It makes it almost, uh, it, it's almost necessary to drive with the steering wheel and pedals in this game. In fact, I would say you should probably get one if you haven't already. 
All right, let's drop down the implement again here as soon as we reach the uh, field. Whoa, big old bump there. No force feedback, though, at the moment, but hopefully in time. All right, we're in the field again. Check that out. I would like to see some mud flying. That would be one thing I would like to see a little bit more of. But there is an in-game radio. You can fuel up your vehicles. Not at the moment, but that is uh, going to be planned. And you can do all sorts of stuff that you normally would do in a farming simulator. So let's get this done. This is going to be pretty easy. Let's just go ahead and uh, cultivate a few more times. Actually, we can complete this mission at any time we want. And in fact, I'm going to go ahead and just call this one good. We know what cultivating is all about. You guys had enough of this. So yeah, very easy, very simple. Uh, and very cool. Now, I, I think if we complete this tutorial, by the way, I think we can go up into the uh, options here. And if we go to uh, missions, I believe there's a tab for that. Planning. Uh, let's see. Quests. I believe we can actually stop the quest that we're on, which we... Uh, well, let's see. Oh. Cult well, look at all the cultivation we have to do. But right here. I think this is one I want to do here. Parkour. Test your driving skills. So let's go see how the independent suspension and everything works. And let's go ahead and see how this vehicle wor uh, works uh, when, it, when it comes to that kind of thing. Actually, one thing we could do, too is under settings now that we finished the tutorial we can actually turn on there we go hardcore realism now is on by default for this setting so in the in the in the initial tutorial it does not have the hardcore realism on uh, which makes it very easy to get in and out of fields but now it's on so now let's watch how it goes in the mud a little bit so check this out so it is entirely possible to get your tractor stuck and you notice the slower you go the more you're going to be in the in the uh, dirt and have a hard time and if we try to uh, deploy our, uh, our equipment here, it may not cultivate, although we might not own this field. But still, you can see, look at how our tractor's actually struggling a little bit. The wheels have got to spin up a little bit more just to get going. So you can tell that it's going to be real fun in this game to be sure that you use the right equipment on the right fields. All right, let's get to it then. So obviously, we're just testing a little bit. Oh, no, you're driving in the fields. I know, I know. But don't you worry. So this game seems to take place in Germany. I'm hoping it offers a lot of different uh, areas of farming. I would really love to see the U.S. I would really like to see Asia, for example. Real big bump in the road here for some reason. Whoa, that was a big bump. All right, so we're going to go do some parkour. We're going to go test our independent suspension. We do have the ability to signal as well. We, have our, uh, we should have our turn signals and everything set up. You can see there that they're working. And I think we even have our nighttime lights. We can... Uh, Go ahead and turn those on at any time, really. And uh, in the upper left corner where it says cultivate, we're just going to skip that goal for now. I've done that enough, but I wanted to show that to you guys for sure. And a fully functional interior to the tractor as well. Every time uh, that you press something or every time that you signal, uh, you, you can see that you know the signal down there actually does work. It's, it's really impressive. All right, we're almost to the parkour site. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful maps. Uh, both the, uh, the homes and, and the little towns here in Germany. And also, uh, just the farm fields. Like, look at that one down there with the mud. And should we go? S you want me to go do some mud? I can hear you. you want we better do some mud before we go down there. So this, this is really what sets this game apart from any others: is the fact that the farm fields are very, very, very alive. They're very uh, dynamic this way, and so you can drive right into them to go do some mud and check that out. So let's go ahead and do some donuts here. Let's see if we can get bogged down in this field a little bit. Come to a stop. There you go. Oh, yeah. Going to take a little bit extra power to get out of here. So, again, you wouldn't want to do this as a farmer, but it is amazing to see your trails. You can actually see the trails in the back. Really impressive stuff. Absolutely love it. So we can drive around. We can do donuts, you know. And it, it definitely makes cultivating and sowing, which were, like, the most two mundane tasks, a lot more bearable. And it's just beautiful to see the farm fields come alive like this. I mean, they're, they're, they're actually... Um, low spots in the field. You can see there's some flooding, that kind of thing. So really, really gorgeous. So that's just a little taste of what's to come when you do some cultivating like that. And uh, let's go ahead and give a shot now to uh, a little bit of parkour. We're going to try to drive over there now. Get back on the road again if I can. Try to signal and obey the speed limit and the laws again, though I'm not sure what the limit is here. We can actually leave our uh, implement be behind shortly. All right, and again, I, I really like the uh, exterior uh, control panel as well. You can see your speed, you can see that you're signaling, uh, you can see your RPMs, all sorts of different e uh, details, including fuel, which we started with uh, about a half tank. We do have a functional uh, farm uh, area as well, where cows, as the name would imply, cattle and crops, where we can actually raise some cattle and uh, take care of our crops and such. So it's all, all good stuff here. 
Okay, we're going to go ahead and leave our implement behind before we get into the parkour here. Pay no attention to where it says Tutorial 1 Cultivate. We pretty much dealt with that. You guys know how cultivating works. And, uh, and it's going to be a lot more fun when it comes to the different uh, types of fields that you're working on. Alright, let's go ahead and stop here. Oop, reversing a little bit. There we go. Alright, let's set this thing down. There we go. And let's open our door just in case we have to bail. There we go. Wow. And you can even adjust the uh, the intensity of how far the, the door opens. You can do the same with your windows as well on your, um, for example, your windshield wipers. Or I think you can even adjust the uh, steering wheel and such as well. So you can adjust everything ins inside this tractor. Sir, are you coming with? I thought, you we th I thought we left you there. There we go. Sorry about that. He wanted to come along for the ride. All right, let's start our parkour test. What we're going to do now is uh, we're going to crawl up here. Wow, look at that. That is amazing. Now, you can actually see the exterior of this tractor, the suspension working, when we climb up some of these hills. Check this out. So we're going to start here. And this is really what makes the game so amazing, in that, is that it makes the fields and the tractors just feel much more alive. And for those of you craving realism, this is definitely the one for you. Now, watch, that, watch the cabin of the tractor struggle here as we're getting her up into gear and everything like that, and gaining speed. Look at the suspension work. Look at that. You might be able to see it a little bit. Well, definitely here you're going to be able to see it as I bump into the side. But check, no, but really, the purpose here is to show off that wonderful sus uh, suspension and everything. And it's hard to see from inside the tractor, but you can definitely tell from out outside that there's some crazy stuff going on. So let's get up here. Let's get some parkour done. And let's check the exterior of the tractor again. I just really want to show this off. It's wonderful. Look at that. Wow, that, was, that would have been a heavy hit for any tractor. I believe the tractors do need to take regular maintenance as well. So you do need to perform regular maintenance on your tractors and or drive them to a maintenance bay. You might need to change tires. And I think you can also do things, uh, if, for example, if you buy different tires, you don't have to go to the shop. You can just buy and own them. Let's take a look at the exterior of the tractor again. Look at that. That's really impressive. The independent suspension and look at that. Yep. Each wheel's got its own little thing going on here. That's really in incredible. Oh, wow. Well, not that, not so much, but tractor's powerful, but she can't go up anything like that there, Dinosaur Man. There we go. So, again, re really just amazing to see this. And I, I can't wait to actually be driving on farm fields that are angled like this and to just watch the suspension and, and just everything working away. And we're not even going full speed yet, so that's incredible. Okay, next parkour is a little bit of a, a wheel test, I suppose. So we've tested out... Uh, the climb. We've tested out a few things there, including uh, let's let's see the uh, independent wheels here. Better close my door now. I might might actually fall out. There we go. So really cool to see. And again, just I mean, if you if you really like the class, I mean, imagine all the other tractors that they're going to have in here. I don't have a full list in front of me, but you can imagine that all the big farming classics are here. And just imagine driving across terrain like this. Uh, a lot of, uh, by the way, a lot of Russian players really love to play in the absolute rural areas. And that's some of the best farming, too, where it's just basically you and a tractor in the land, and that's it. And I love that so much about farming sim and such as well as some of those maps like that. And I'm hoping that uh, crops and, uh, Cattle and Crops rather really offers something like this in the future. And again, you'll be able to hire workers. You'll be able to do maintenance and all sorts of different stuff. You'll be able to manage the farm from afar. You'll be able to see that your workers are... Uh, actually have different types of skills rather than just being hired to do a field. They actually have names and ages and all sorts of different things you can consider before hiring them. And again, just check out that suspension rocking, man. Just really cool. Good stuff. Absolutely loving this. So what do you guys think? you think this is one you... Down below, you want to get it? Absolutely want to get this? Or you think it'll be one you pass on? Or do you need to see more? Again, this is just a technical demo. And I'm really impressed with it. Now we're going to see some low-speed turning. So let's see what happens here if we uh, go between some of these, uh, d the cones of death. So I know you came here for f some farming, but it is nice to see this parkour set up like this. So that way you can see how I important it is to actually go, sl like, for example, if I was going around some trees. Well, see there, right there, I bop, bop that one. So, But yeah, you need to really go slow. You really need to have a good control of your tractors and such if you're going around trees or rocks or if you're, uh, you know, doing any sort of crazy uh, farming and such. How was I supposed to get around that one? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, let's go ahead and swing up around this one. So, yeah, I, I would be the world's worst uh, Olympic skier or possibly if there was an Olympian, uh, like, uh, tractor tutorial thing. That, that, that would be my, uh, not my strong suit, but I love this. This is great. Yeah, there we go. All right, we're starting to get it now. 
and again the Logitech uh, G920 that I'm using does have uh, force feedback, which does set the uh, the controller ba or the the wheel back to center. But I really would like to see some force feedback actually in the fields. That would just be absolutely incredible to me to just be able to feel that kind of thing in the game. Would just really complete the realism of this type of game. All right, one more thing I think we have to do. I think we got to go high speed up this side. So we'll do that now. All right, some high speed action now in the cattle and crops. And it's amazing how much time we've spent just showing off the transmission and such. It's such a big thing that we don't have. In the game, you can also do some towing as well. And uh, so if we get stuck in the mud, you'll be able to see some of that. Though I do not believe it is yet amp uh, implemented. I was talking to the developers earlier. The game will be available for consoles after release on version 1. The game will feature multiplayer. Uh, it will feature several different maps, I believe, uh, other than this one. Oh, boy. And uh, it will feature uh, quite a lot of things that actually haven't been announced. So there's a lot more coming down the line as well. So for this just being a technical demo of how, how the transmission and mud works, I'm really impressed. And uh, again, I'm just trying to see the... Ex Look at that. This is so cool, watching it from the exterior like that. Again, inside the tractor. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's going to... Sometimes, folks, it just takes a whole lot of flooring. My driving's junk, but... Uh, hey, then again, when's the last time you drove a tractor up on some concrete walls? I feel like Tony Hawk Pro Skater here all of a sudden. Got to collect S-K-A-T-E. Get that bonus level. And there we go. All the way through to the end. Yeah, pretty good. All right. So that is it for the uh, the parkour mission. And let's go ahead and click OK on that. And then we'll go ahead and just give a little tour of town. And talk a little bit about the graphics and everything. So I think the game has some pretty impressive graphics. I'm playing at about like high and medium just for performance issues. Uh, well, not, not that the performance issues in the game are bad. But... Um, with it not being optimized yet, there, you know, once, once you go up high, it's a little icy. It's a little difficult to deal with. But I will not tell you that it is uh, bad in any way. It's, it's definitely good. So let's go ahead and plow through here. This is the only tractor that's available. There's a sh whole shop menu, and I think I'll pull over and show all of you that because we have to actually open this up. And by pull over, I mean just keep going, apparently. So let's go ahead and take a look at the... Uh, let's come to a stop there. There. Let's go ahead and take a look at, uh, again, animals and such that you can purchase. You can get employees. You can get uh, different types of... Uh, of uh, finances and just all sorts of different things including buying fields and th one of the biggest things that I like in this game is when you click on your tractor you can actually if you're not in it you can click the magnifying glass it will tell you exactly where that tractor is so if you have three different tractors that are exactly the same and very close together you can see which one's actually attached to a certain implement or something like that sorry I was blocking traffic a little bit but yeah the game seems to handle hills and everything well we could drive through town back there but pretty easy driving. I think we can put on our beacons. I forget exactly what that one is, but if I hadn't mentioned... Oh yeah, there's interior lights and everything in the game as well. And exterior working lights. Your tractor has interior lights. You have beacon lights that you can turn on. And the mirrors all work and are functioning great. There's even a cruise control. I know, it's pretty impressive. There's a cruise control again. So that's pretty amazing. Alright, let's get out of here then. I'm going to drive over to... Uh, let's see here. We drive over to one of these fields for doing some mudding. There should be a gas station around town somewhere, but this is more of a rural drive. And by the way, if we hit a tree, the good news is, what were those, spike strips or something? If we hit a tree, oh, we go right through it. So don't worry about that. Or a car. It looks like the cars seem to come to a stop. But All right, back to the field to do some mudding now. Let's do some high-speed mudding in first person with that hardcore mode on. Whew, there we go. So again, it, it really seems to handle the uh, ground really nicely. And they're still improving upon this, and I'm really impressed. Uh, as this player is really impressed. I did pay for my copy as well. I, I didn't get any free copies or anything like that to give away or, or uh, you know, they didn't message me. I was actually truly interested in this one. And man, am I impressed. Look at that. You can see all your tires and it, it does destroy the crops and everything as you drive over them. So that is definitely a thing that you need to worry about. So for those of you wanting an ultimate farming experience that is like all total realism, this is definitely going to be one for you. So... All right, guys, well, that is it for today. I, I guess this is all we really can cover in the technical demo, unless you really want to see me cultivate a field, which, you know, you get the point. Um, you know, there's many fields to buy. You know how long it would take to do that. I would not recommend, by the way, uh, going into that field and doing some cultivating on hardcore. You're going to get yourself stuck, and I don't think there's any tow ropes in the world that can help you in this one. So that is it for now, folks. Thank you very much for tuning in. Sorry for a quickie, but definitely a goodie when it comes to this game. So I'm going to head out now, guys. Open that door, and freedom awaits me. Check this guy out, man. This guy is so cool. All right, I'll see you all soon. By the way, one cool thing is I can actually use my steering wheel to actually control this guy. I find it hilarious. You hear the, you hear the force feedback? This guy, dude, look at that. Michael Jackson, watch out. All right, there you go. All right, I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.